Hi everyone, welcome back to the episode of Ask Dr. Nick. My name is Dr. Nick Schmidlkoffer and I work for the Neurologic Wellness Institute. And today's question on Ask Dr. Nick is, can long COVID be due to persistent brainstem dysfunction? And the paper we're gonna discuss is discussing this hypothesis that long COVID is due to a persistent dysfunction of the brainstem, uh, which is deep within our brain. And so there are lots of theories when it comes to long COVID. There are theories from chronic fatigue with uh, increased sympathetic output and not well enough drainage of the lymphatic tissues, the uh, inflammatory molecules coming from the brain. There are uh, theories when it comes to blood coagulation and uh, microclotting. There are um, theories that it all still is within the lungs or within the heart specifically. Um, and then there are other central nervous system findings as well. Um, and that's on top of, is COVID still there? Is there still viral particles? Is there still a viral load um, that's causing this persistent uh, on COVID? Is there autoimmunity? There are so many different theories. And so I just want to today talk about one theory related to the brain. And so let's get into the paper here. So the paper is from Chemical Neuroscience. Um, it is from 2021, I think it's at the end of the year, 2021. It's called Persistent Brainstem Dysfunction in Long COVID Hypo Hypothesis. And so this paper is pretty easy to get through. Um, it's just basically talking about how the symptoms of long COVID include fatigue, dyspnea, so trouble breathing, gastrointestinal or cardiac problems, so GI issues, uh, gut problems, um, heart problems, cognitive impairments, myalgia or muscle pain, um, and a lot of these same symptoms are also found in persistent brainstem dysfunction. Um, we do know that there is brainstem tropism, so basically meaning that COVID-19 does have an affinity for different areas, different neurons, different brain cells in the brainstem, um, as the brainstem has relatively high expression of the ACE2 receptor. The ACE2 receptor is what it binds to in the lungs that causes mostly the lung dysfunction. Um, the brainstem also is highly prone to damage from pathological immune or vascular activation. So basically, the immune system and inflammation can cause uh, brainstem dysfunction. We know the brainstem has many, many different subset of nuclei or subset of brain cells that do a multitude of things for the body that are mostly automatic, autonomic in, in function. And so here, the brainstem contains numerous distinct nuclei that regulate respiratory, cardiovascular, gastrointestinal, and neurological processes. Um, and so indeed, brainstem dysfunction has been implicated in other similar disorders such as chronic pain, migraine, myalgic encephalomyelitis, um, uh, which can be chronic fatigue and then chronic fatigue syndrome, okay? So over here is a picture of the brainstem. We have the so basically imagine that you're looking at the brain stem through like through my mouth and you have a big brain that's on top of it and then behind it you have this little brain called the cerebellum and so here this brain stem you have the midbrain the pons and the medulla so it's broken up to three different spots three different main areas and um those areas each have different nuclei, okay? And so all these nuclei here, substantia nigra, which deals with dopamine and motivation, um, ventral tegmental area, same, similar thing. The reticular activating system helps to activate the brain, give it more alertness and attention. Um, and then you have a bunch of all of these nuclei. You have the vagus, dorsal motor vagus nucleus, which is more for the vagus nerve and activating the, the heart and um, gut um, and then multiple other nuclei related to breathing, okay? And so here they kind of <clears throat> have it that COVID-19 with SARS-CoV-2 can attack the brainstem with those ACE2 receptors. Um, some long COVID symptoms that could relate to these different areas are cognitive problems, insomnia, anxiety, depression, headache, fatigue, myalgia. Um, the more of the, a lot of these middle, uh, brainstem areas or lower brainstem, like diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain. Uh, of course, the altered taste is, is problems with the brainstem. And then also that lower brainstem can have problems with, you know, causing dyspnea, uh, trouble breathing, cough, chest pain. 
So a lot of correlations right here. Um, there's just one more picture that I'd like to show. Um, and that is this one right here. And so here, as we were mentioning, <clears throat> the brainstem likes to bind to the ACE2 receptor. There's ACE2 receptor all along in the brainstem. And we know that once the COVID molecule gets through our lungs into our bloodstream, it can go to the brain. And even though the brain has a blood brain barrier that kind of helps protect it, there are areas that are especially near the brainstem that uh, are called circumventricular organs. Basically, they are areas that do not contain a blood brain barrier because you need more um, things to get in so that you can the, the brain can kind of test out the blood and kind of have a um, almost like a little it's a little tester to see you know how much glucose is there what else is there and so if the virus gets in there binds to the receptors it can cause neuroinflammation um, which can activate these like microglial cells that lead to more inflammation um, more inflammatory mediators it can activate microthrombosis uh, microthrombosis is what we were talking about before, like these little microclots that basically then we're not getting as well of blood flow to the brainstem, which can also lead to the same symptoms we were just discussing. Um, and so this is kind of how the brainstem could play a role in long COVID because it's easily um, attackable, I guess, by a virus. Um, and the brainstem deals with so many things and a variety of um of activities that are mostly automatic in nature, but some voluntary like eye movement control um, and and like being able to control walking. So um, that's basically a quick article just talking about the possibilities of long COVID being caused by brainstem mediated problems. Um, if you suspect you have long COVID, you should always you know seek out healthcare options and you know get full tests. What we do here is we're going to look at brainstem mediated um, assessment tools, right? We're going to look at your brainstem and, and assess it to see, are your cranial nerves functioning well? Do your eye movements look good? Um, how is your vestibular system and balance working? And can we relate that to those different areas? And what do we might have to do to improve long COVID symptoms, whether that be through neurological rehab or through diet, lifestyle, uh, supplements for inflammation? Uh, and how can we also help with uh, maybe other practitioners that are also doing similar things uh, in a different way for, for treating long COVID. So I hope you guys like this one. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you have any suggestions for future topics, I'd love to hear them. Thanks again and have a great day. Stay healthy.